trade ever. I mean, you, who, who can blame them, bro? He's a first round pick that has struggled to really stay on the field. It's injury after injury with this guy, bro. And he's had problems since the, the beginning of um training camp when he got when he got drafted, bro. Mini camp or whatever. He was out of shape and shit like that. So that that's where it all really all started for from. And it has just not gotten better ever since. He's missed time with injuries and stuff like that. And they pretty much kind of replaced him at this point. With them bringing in Ridley and Tyler Boyd, bro. This trade was so Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the worst trade ever. Um, I'm pretty sure this is by by the thumbnail of the fucking video. I'm pretty sure it's the Traylon Burks um and AJ Brown trade type shit because of the the Titans not really getting what they thought they were getting back for AJ Brown. Which is Traylon Burks, who has been underwhelming his career so far. Um, but in my opinion, I don't even think this is even close to the worst trade ever, bro. The Russell Wilson trade will, for me, it will forever go down as the worst trade ever because of the fact that the Broncos traded for him, paid him a huge contract, and guess what? Guess where he's at now? He's no longer on the fucking team, and they're still paying him. Like that, that shit is outrageous to me. But let's go ahead and check this out. This be the year. Titans receiver Traylon Burks finds his groove. Don't, do not be surprised if Burks is, gets traded before the end of the season. Injuries have been a big issue. Can stay healthy. Um, because if they if they were um, you know what I'm saying positive and had the what's the fucking word? Um, damn, I forgot the word, bro. Well, if, if they if they felt like he was going to have a breakout year, they wouldn't have went out and signed Tyler Boyd, bro. So I, mean, I feel like it's, it's going to be the last admit, season that Burks is going to be that in Tennessee. Been on all off season long, because at first I didn't think it was a big deal. There were just some sound bites here and there from various members of the Tennessee Titans suggesting that one of their players wasn't necessarily faith. The faith, best. that's what I meant. And faith. I they don't have faith in Traylon Burks. Content was taken out of context, but more recently, <laughs> people have been very harsh on this one player, which is enough for us to say that we may have a brand new contender I mean, for the worst trade ever. It I mean, you, who who can blame them, bro? He's a first round pick that has struggled to really stay on the field. It's injury after injury with this guy, bro, and he's had problems since the the beginning of um training camp when he got when he got drafted, bro, mini camp or whatever. He was out of shape and shit like that. So that that's where it all, really all started for from, and it has just not gotten better ever since he's missed time with injuries and stuff like that and they pretty much kind of replaced him at this point with them bringing in ridley and tyler boyd bro this trade was so bad that it literally got a general manager fired it caused Damn. the team to switch quarterbacks and this team essentially went from a contender to an afterthought as a result of this trade but now they're moving back into a contender territory i feel like people are really sleeping on the titans this year W intro. We're currently in the midst of a wide receiver renaissance. I mean, you're seeing wide yeah. receivers getting paid left and right. And that number is Who's next up in the wide receiver market? Oh, CD Lamb. I mean, CD Lamb. Ross St. Brown got paid $30.02 million. CD, T. Higgins, IU. Wide receiver in the NFL. Chase. In that, the Philadelphia Eagles announced that they were going to extend Devontae Smith for $25 million a year annually. Yeah, that was smart. Before making A.J. Brown the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL with $32 million a year annually. Then you have Justin Jefferson, who's getting paid $35 yeah, million dollars a year annually. And this is before CD Lamb and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins need to get paid. But as a result of and, this And contract, I got a thought on the on the T. Higgins situation and shit like that. Um you and you, you would people wonder why Tom Brady has got seven rings. It's not because just because he was the best quarterback of all time, it's because he was willing to take pay cuts. And allowing them to get more talent put around him and shit like that. So if I'm Joe Burrow, I'm taking a pay cut, bro. I'm I'm taking a pay cut so they can pay both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. But that's obviously not gonna happen after they just paid him last year, um, a big bag. But if if I if that was me, bro, I would have took a pay cut for my guys, bro. And we try to win a championship. I would have said, fuck that bag, bro. I'm trying to win rings and build a legacy. 
The previous champion for the highest paid contract in the NFL, Tyreek Hill, definitely started to feel some type of way. So his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, said this. It's safe to, you know, acknowledge that I've been in touch with, with Chris Greer and Brandon Shore of the Dolphins. You know, I certainly have a, a, a fluid line of communication with them and um, I've shared with them how Tyreek feels. And I'll also reiterate that Tyreek has said that he would love to finish his career here with the Dolphins. So without getting into any more specifics, uh, the Dolphins know how we feel. The last time the wide receiver market blew up to this extent was the 2022 offseason. Yeah. We saw Devontae Adams break and the bank when the Tyree Green Kill as well. traded in to the Damn, Los that nigga got a cranium. Store. Holy so shit. Break the bank when he got Yo, my bad, bro. I ain't mean to talk about your hair like that. I'm just saying. A year annually. My During bad. this period of time, A.J. Brown was trying to get a contract extension from the Tennessee Titans. He only really wanted like 25 million a year annually, which back then was a lot of money, but it wasn't yeah. necessarily the craziest request. But you see, since this wide receiver market was just about to blow up, John Robinson didn't know if it was a and it's going to con continue to go up to if they keep, keep raising the salary the cap every year. To trade AJ Brown and draft a wide receiver in the first round of the NFL draft. Doing so would allow the Tennessee Titans to yeah, have Titans a got fleeced. potential wide receiver one on an undervalued contract for the next five years and it's impossible to say whether or not this would 100 percent work there are instances in nfl history where this has worked my favorite case being when the minnesota vikings traded stefan diggs to yep, the buffalo bills jefferson. for the very draft pick that would become that was Justin probably the most, one of sometimes the most even trades works and sometimes it blows up so badly in your face that the team that you trade your wide receiver to becomes a super bowl contender and the person that you draft is such an egregious bust that there are questions of whether or not he will even be starting for your team this year now look, he won't bro time, trust trust to believe he's not first. starting they, they made that blatantly clear when they signed tyler boyd <laughs> that, that was blatantly camp. obvious at that point on our youtube channel for not being able to make it through his first training camp that's what i was talking about now for those of you guys that don't know the exact details of the trade was the philadelphia eagles traded the 18th overall pick in the 2022 nfl draft to the tennessee titans for aj brown and and Mike Vrabel's reaction tells you everything you need to know. I mean, you can tell this is an individual that isn't happy. And I don't blame him for not being Damn, happy. Man. Because this one trade was- This is why Vrabel should still be their head Vrabel coach. eventually losing his job. I mean, after this trade, the Tennessee Titans weren't the same again. Traylon Burke struggled in his first training camp. And there were reports of him being out of shape. He went viral on our YouTube channel for that reason. All right, maybe the thumbnail had something to do with that. What? That was just the very- <laughs> I got to go vomiting his play in 11 games Holy. in his rookie season and would come down with 33 receptions and 444 receiving yards. He was supposed to take a huge leap the very next year, but mm -hmm. he didn't really do that. Starting in nope. eight games, coming down with 16 receptions. 221 yards. yards. The come Tennessee on. Titans were never the same again following the drafting of Traylon Burks. It would go 7-10 and 10 in 2022 before going 6-11 and 11 in 2023. Now, John Robinson, the general manager of the Tennessee Titans, got fired and rightfully so as he should have it was definitely not the right call as he fucking should have bro in addition to this mike oh my ass nigga. got fired now the reason why mike Vrabel got fired was apparently he was a huge yes man that surrounded himself with questionable coaching staff and tennessee just wanted a brand new front office get but the I fuck out of here bro peculiar that the moment you trade your best player on offense your team goes from 12 and 5 and winning the division to 7 and 10 and then eventually yeah. 6 and 11. meanwhile well, the Philadelphia Eagles were doing okay up until this past year, but it was clearly a brilliant move. Jalen Hurts was an MVP candidate during the 2022 season, and the Philadelphia Eagles made it to the Super Bowl. And they're consistently reloading more and more, man, and I hate to see it because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, and we're going to experience so much pain over the next couple of years. If you Damn, want to bro. I feel bad for Dallas fans. I ain't going to lie. Cowboy fan, I'll leave a link to that in the You got Dak Prescott to thank for that, right bro. Now. More recently, we have more evidence that this this might be the worst trade in NFL history because Traylon Burks' teammates aren't really going out to bat for him. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins mm -hmm. was asked earlier on in the offseason if what people he were sleeping on Traylon Burks, and this was his reaction. What he say? Trying to try think I answer that without like a, a negative sound bite. Are we sleeping on Traylon? Mm -hmm. Nine means no in German. Now I heard this in May, and I. Great! <laughs>
Damn, bro. That, bro, that's how you know Trailer Burks is done for, bro. Bro, they asked, they asked this nigga, bro, they asked this nigga, D-Hop, are we, are they sleeping on Traylon Burks? This nigga said no in German. Bro, you know, bro, you know how crazy that shit, that is your own teammate who is a veteran in the league now that's not going to stick up for you like that? That's tough, bro. Hey, Traylon Burks, time to pack your bags, sir. Figured, okay, time to pack your bags. Taking this interview and twisting it out of context. Nah, we ain't, sure nah, we ain't taking nothing out of context, Mike, bro. He said what he said. If he would, if he would have said yes, then you know what I'm saying it would have been better. But that shit sounded crazy because he said it in German, bro. The Tennessee Titans brand new head coach. Instead of just Brian saying, Callahan said um, this nah. about Burks, and it really or, sounds like yes. his career might be over very soon. If you're not one of the 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 top two or three guys, you're gonna have to contribute on teams and. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy in that in that mold that if you're trying to get a hat on game day and, and be one of the, the 46 active, uh, you got to have you got to play a role uh, on special teams, especially as, as a skill player. Damn. I think your head coach say that you either need to make the Tyler Boyd and Calvin Ridley or you're not going to be playing football for this roster is absolutely insane. The they finna put this nigga on special teams now. And why would that be the case? They're in a completely different situation when they drafted Traylon Burks. They were hoping he would be able to come in right away, help Ryan Tannehill and hopefully the Tennessee Titans Titans would be able to save enough money on the salary cap and still be able to contend for the playoffs. But if you take a look at this team's off Sneed. the team is clearly trying to compete now. They traded for Legereus Sneed in late March. But that's not all. They have DeAndre Hopkins returning. They signed Calvin Ridley to an incredible contract, paying him $23 million a year annually. And then on top of that, they brought in Tyler Boyd, who in my opinion was a more than capable wide receiver too in Cincinnati, but he was buried on the depth chart behind T. Higgins and Jamar Chase over there. Yeah. The obvious Obviously, Brian Callahan, who comes out of Cincinnati, might show some more favoritism to Tyler Boyd. Then the draft bus. A hundred percent. I don't I like, bro. It doesn't matter if he came from Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Anybody will, will pick Tyler Boyd over Traylon Burks because Tyler Boyd is a proven veteran who can stay consistent and get you yards, bro. Drafted two years ago under the previous general manager. The Titans no longer have a huge attachment to Traylon Burks, and it makes a lot of sense. But Damn, Traylon bro. Burks really is bad as people are saying well this is what his wide receiver coach has to say about him what do you say attitudes great great you know effort's been good one of the things that uh somebody said something about his effort and practice the other day the one thing i would mention that a lot of those guys come straight from special teams and they're running like 100 yards up and down the field and when they get to my period my individual period we have only eight minutes so what i tell them to do is they can tone it down a little bit Go through the route technique part of it, not so much speed, because after eight minutes, we go back full speed. The routes are there with the quarterbacks. So some of that, I give them a little leeway. At the end of the day, W coach, a fan, W coach. Obviously, the stage, looking out for him. The good news is, it seems like kind of like that. Titans are making a push towards contention. They made some aggressive moves this off season, and their team, at least on paper, is looking very solid. They drafted offensive line. They're also in a tough they division a too, bro. Receiver core for Will Levis. Yeah, it sucks that they lost Derrick Henry. And personally, I don't know if Tony Pollard is capable mm -hmm. of picking up the slack. But all in all, that's I why they still got Tajay Spears. Spears. Challenge for AFC. Who is um, you know what I'm saying great behind Derrick Henry last year, the time that he um saw the field versus the Texans go, and depending on whether or not the Jacksonville Jaguars could live up to their potential this year, I could see the yeah, I think that Trevor Lawrence deserved that back he got paid today. As of right now, there's a reason why every person involved in this trade for Traylon Burks has now been fired, and it's because this is without a doubt one of the worst trades in NFL history. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Aside from that. I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our, our next, next upload. upload. Hey man, what do you guys think about the whole trailing Burt situation? Do y'all think it's the worst trade of all time, bro? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications, get notified whenever I drop another banger video. One road at 200 subs. I'm gonna get there for more banger NFL content like this. And without further ado, I'm out. Gang!